Let's take a moment and check out the auxiliary input on Pioneer's AVHX 4800BS. Before we get started with the auxiliary input, let's check a setting on the head unit to make sure we're all set up and ready to go. We're going to go from any source here. We're going to touch the gears and we want to go to the toolbox. Now let's check our input output settings and check that auxiliary input is turned on. Now if you don't use auxiliary input on a regular basis, you can switch auxiliary input off. And if we do that, I'm going to hit the X here, and you'll see that auxiliary input no longer shows up in our source list. But I like to use auxiliary input, so let's switch that back on. I'm going to go out to my gears, and we'll go to input output settings, and switch auxiliary input on. Now we'll hit the X, and we'll check the source list. There is auxiliary input for us. All right, so now let's get ready to use the auxiliary input. The auxiliary input is on the back of the head unit, so when you wire up the head unit, be sure to plug in the auxiliary input and bring the other end of the wire up into the passenger compartment, and we'll plug into my favorite music player. And remember to turn up the volume on your music player before you turn up the volume on the head unit. Now let's switch to the auxiliary source, and we can begin to play a track from my player. Right now we're listening to music through the auxiliary input. If we want to go to video on the auxiliary input, we can just touch this button and we can switch to the video input. Please note that you can't watch video while driving. You have to have the parking brake engaged. So let's engage the parking brake. To switch back to audio, just touch the audio button right here. 